Hey yo, what's happening everyone? Today we're gonna be taking a look at some super ultra mega cringe from r slash nice guys. Are you a virgin? No. You freaked a lot of guys? No. How can I get you to freak me? Bruh, where the freak do you even live? Where do you? I asked you first. Ohio, how about you? Yeah buddy, we ain't sleeping together. Give you some good Richard. Ha ha ha. Uh uh, good luck with that. You're probably a sleuth anyway, I don't want you. So long story short, she had a date with this guy and he showed up with greasy hair. After they finished eating, he mentioned that he didn't have the money to pay for his own food, politely told him that she wasn't interested in another date, but that wasn't enough. We're getting some choosing beggars vibes here too. Sorry about that, by the way, I'm a good guy, I can give you references. I'm not saying you're a bad person, you just don't take rejection very well. Yeah, you're right, I had my hopes set a little too high. I really do apologize, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I just want more friends, that's all. <laughs> more friends, lol. More friends to buy you a free dinner, dude. I really am sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable though. Thanks for the apology, but unfortunately that ship has sailed. Yeah, that's all good. I like girls with personality, you like guys with money. It's okay, I just wanted to be friends. Oh, freak off, dude. You don't know anything about me and I'm 100% done with being nice to your greasy asses. I'm not gonna be friends with someone who told me they're going to become a serial killer. What was that? Hello, take your sad attempts at manipulation to someone who gives a freak. And don't freaking text me back. Well, that serial killer part was a little weird. I've actually played Bad Company, I think anyway all those types of games morph into one for me, if I'm honest. But you still buy every LEGO game because it's different from the last one. Hey, that's different, XZ. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why don't you want to be more than friends? Uh, just like a reason so maybe I could improve myself for the next girl. It's not about improvement, it's about meeting someone who likes you. So nothing I do would make me good enough for you. I don't want you to do anything, I don't expect you to. I want to know where I can get better. It depends on the person, some girls want the guy with short hair, but then if you get a haircut you're less attractive to the girl who likes long hair. What I'm trying to say is we aren't a hive mind, we aren't a borg with a long list of things we like and don't like, it depends on the individual. The best version of you is just you right now for the right person and some girls will never find you attractive but that's okay. Like you, don't make it about me, how would you change me to be your perfect guy, oh, okay now this is a little sociopathic here. I don't have a perfect guy. Stop dodging questions. I don't have a perfect guy, do I need to repeat myself again? Unless you want me to list generic things like kind, not an aggressive a-hole. You think I'm aggressive? Basically. Well, do you have punch holes in your door? Wait, 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 what's wrong with having punch holes in your door? I mean, there's some Kyles out there, you know? A lot of guys do. So was this helpful for you? So tell me why you don't want to go on a date. Not even one that decides after. Because when I look at you, I don't feel anything. I don't find your personality attractive in any way, not even a little. You don't do anything for me physically either. Not only that you are the type of guy I'm afraid to say no to. All these things add up to someone I would not want to be romantic in any sort of way. I'm not being harsh, I'm being as honest as I can for you. I'm not gonna change just for you. What the hell you just asked her? You just told her that you wanted to change. What this... What? Oh my god, it's like teaching a monkey mathematics. I don't want you to. I can find someone better. G good, I want you to. Last chance before I go. Goodbye and good luck. Slut. Just your usual wholesome friendly conversation, right? Hi, hello? Anyone home? Or is your noggin not accepting messages from decent guys on here? This is the end of the world that we live in. Talk about the end of the world. I honestly think that there's no hope left in the world. While nice guys like me are getting turned down and outcast, there are guys treating women like a-holes and drowning in kitty cat. Honestly, this world is going to crap. Maybe I should be an a-hole, but I have self-respect. Mm-hmm. 
Oh god, here's a great one. Well, aren't most women like that? Hear me out, stereotypes exist for a reason. Ho ho ho's always go for either the best looking stud out there or the one with the fattest bank account. The personality, attitude and intelligence can freak off for all they care. The reason why most women are branded as ho ho ho's is because they are, I'm wondering who branded them dude. Their C words drip wet for hot stuff and they'd freak a stud the second they had the chance. When the dude is done railing her seven times a week for a month, he'll dump her a soggy C word and find the next beer while she'll cry out, men are trash or some feminist bullcrap. Stereotypes exist for a reason. Yeah, so that insults like you can get off and fuel their counterproductive worldview, right? So I fell asleep and didn't reply to him. You have five minutes. If you give me five minutes, I'll make you happy. I didn't mean it like that. You still up? You call me if you freak with me? So you're mad at me. You're sleeping. Wake up. You wake. Think about money. Oh, so that last money sentence, that's where her reaction is supposed to be like, Oh my god, you have so much money, uh, j just, just marry me. But it just doesn't work like that, as per usual. Hey. How many times are you gonna say hey till you respond? I already responded hi two times. Won't waste somebody else's life and time. Okay then, if we aren't talking then, IG, bye bich, lol. <laughs> wow, what a mature, wholesome conversation. If I stop the intercourse talk, can we still chat? I really like you. Could you deep throat it? I'd like to start over. I appreciate that, but I prefer not to. Cool, but you're a terrible decision maker. You hook up with guys that drug you, assault you, cut at things that I can't say on this channel, and drive like a crazy person with you in the car and won't let you out. I would have treated you like a queen, but apparently you don't really want to be happy, so you self-sabotage and that's why you're totally alone. Enjoy it, babe. Well, looks like she's not gonna enjoy you. A great, humble, nice queen respecter. What you doing after school? Slide with me. Appropriate use of emojis. Slide. Damn. Come here. You play too much. I'm not even trying to be your n-word, beautiful. Just, just too many emojis. Alright then, what you trying to be? Just random people that have fun a lot with each other on the low. That's what I'm trying to be with you. Appropriate amount of emojis. Cause I got a GF too. And I don't want her to know. <laughs> so I ain't gonna say crap to anyone. For surely. You should sneak me into your house today at night. And earn a few easy couple bucks. A very appropriate use of emojis. I will never understand why people do this to themselves. And other people. It's just confusing and weird. So watch out, we have the nicest man out there and the choosing beggar. It's called a real wonderful man. Whether I have a house or not, if I date a girl with a house, I become the man of that house and she will listen to me or she can get out. This is the next level of women respecting. Everybody should do this. I'm just kidding, nobody should do this, okay? Like the number one rule when being in anybody else's house is respecting them and the rules of the house, right? Okay, okay. Now that we got that out of the way, we can move on. Girl, hey, it's been a while, me. Yeah, yeah, you got a boyfriend who made you delete me because he called you pretty in 2016 and he was jealous and kept bringing me up in every conversation but ended up cheating or being emotionally abusive so you re-added me, hoping I wasn't too mad at you so we could continue our friendship. Like nothing happened. I got it. That's 100% what happened. I believe you. No, man, you are not overreacting and you are not making assumptions. Not at all. Ladies of Reddit, what is it about bad boys that you find so attractive compared to the nice guys? Self-confidence. You mean to tell me that there are people who have self-confidence? Breaking news. Yes, people with self-confidence exist. I'm sensing an r slash nice guy tendency here. You are so beautiful, I want you to be my girl. Aw, oh, 
thank you, I'm sorry, I'm really not too interested in anything like that. You were very sweet though. Lamar, you're not that pretty to have a choice. <laughs> this turned around pretty quickly. I was just saying that to try and hit it. I have a girlfriend, so just stay away. And just for the record, you are freakable beautiful, not like actually beautiful. This is amazing, and my new phone background. You're just so annoying, I feel like freaking you would have just been an annoying. And you know what's funny? You're not even gonna do that, so you don't even have a say, bro. Nice guy. Hey, beautiful. Girl. Hi. Nice guy. Send me pics of your gorgeous body? Question mark. Girl. No. Nice guy. Do you have any freaking idea how rude that was? Looking into the distance. And if you agree that some people have no clue on how to talk and have normal conversations with the women and people in general, make sure to comment, like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these. Bye.